Hello, my name is Hope Miyawa. I am the current Wikimedian in residence at SMG. Today I will be discussing the volunteering project that happened in partnership with Wikimedia and SMG's volunteering groups. So to start off firstly, the volunteering project kind of came about during COVID-19 uh, primarily in lockdown when the volunteers didn't have access to the museums. So in order for them to still continue to contribute and use, this, and use the expert knowledge of the collections, uh, we thought them kind of creating, writing and gaining training um, on articles and working through Capedia would be the best route to take. Um, and we had kind of like subject specific um, topics we wanted to cover in terms of articles and content. So this was the BBC chemistry, climate change, women in STEM and everyday technologies. This is where um, SMG and the volunteers um, felt that they had the most expert knowledge on and would be able to fill in informational gaps um, onto Wikipedia, um, expand people's knowledge and our digital outreach and kind of help them gain um, better digital skills, learning and understanding. Um, so the aims for this project was to to gain a better digital audience outreach using Wikipedia, uh, train the volunteers in order to enhance their digital skills, as mentioned prior, um, to provide an alternative way that the volunteers can continue to contribute to museums, um, looking more of a digital aspect rather than um, a physical aspect of being in the museums and working on exhibitions and the collections, um, enhance um, SMG's digital presence and get more people to engage with um, SMG's online collections collections and encourage more people to learn about STEM, to introduce the volunteers to different roles and experiences within the museum industry that they could then continue to do um, onwards or that they could kind of use um, within their volunteering um, kind of timeline with um, SMG and to facilitate in volunteering opportunities with a long-term view to diversify SMG's volunteering um, base. So as mentioned prior, a lot of them would have been kind of working directly with the collections, but then this would also help diversify people who have more of a digital interest um, coming into SMG to volunteer. Um, the outcomes we kind of wanted from this um, project were to grow an awareness around the Science Museum group and its collection around key topic areas, um, taking SMG's collections to where audiences were active and would engage um, with different parts of the collections online and on to Wikipedia and kind of have that audience um, interaction and kind of know what people are interested in again diversify participants to um, diverse participants sorry to engage with editathons being part of a community that were filling in um, informational gaps on underrepresented areas on Wikipedia. This was directly relating to the women in STEM sessions that we had and kind of showcasing the collections, uh, both within STEM subjects and in other areas to highlight the collection to audiences who wouldn't normally consider a um, SMG to be um, a place of like resource and information and also make sure that the volunteers were able to get their knowledge and understanding of the collections and areas that they were interested in onto Wikipedia and kind of enhance its content and um, their knowledge um, overall, really. Um, so the people who were involved were myself, um, volunteering coordinators, and we had a, about a group of 20 volunteers who were writing, editing articles, and who we had trained over a two month span um, on how to use Wikipedia, its policies, and kind of engaging with all different aspects of its sister projects. So we just didn't primarily work on Wikipedia creating and editing articles. We also did some stuff on Wikidata and on Wikicommons um, because as part of the wider Wikipedia project, we wanted to focus on uploading some images onto Wikicommons, um, as this had been a very like successful aspect of the project prior before. And some of the images that were uploaded onto Wikicommons um, from SMG in other residencies had gained millions of views and we wanted to continue this momentum um, from that aspect. Uh, the volunteers had much more time to engage and do things onto Wikipedia um, rather than the curators who kind of needed their time and knowledge and expertise um, somewhere else. So we were able to use um, the volunteers 
volunteers um, to kind of engage actively and keep the momentum and the motivation going, as well as to help them keep learning um, how to use Wikipedia parts of the collections and then take it to an audience who would be actively engaging uh, with it. Um, from the statistics you can see above, um, the project was split into kind of like two phases. So we did the first phase last year uh, between the between June and July. And when we first did um, phase one of the project, uh, we had about 345k article views, which was still a great number. And we were all very happy that people were actively engaging with the content we were putting onto Wikipedia. Um, but as you can see from the current statistics, we now have about 3.7 million article views um, since then. And uh, recently the volunteering project took part um, from uh, February this year, all the way until April and we were able to kind of keep creating more content and putting it onto Wikipedia. Um, we also were able to upload some images onto Wikipedia, which did really well and gained about thousands of views um, alone from there and were able to be embedded into different articles and then help divert traffic back to us. Um, kind of some notable articles that the volunteers created that I would recommend people to look at were ones um, on Agnes Lister, who was Joseph Lister's uh, wife, um, who was the famed surgeon. Um, Shaizo Ishiguru, who came up with a storm surge computer, uh, which was able to read um, tidal waves coming in. Um, and enabled to kind of anticipate tsunamis that were happening. Dorothy Smith, who was one of the first female engineers um, in the UK and part of uh, the Women's Engineering Society. Um, same with Sheila McGuffey, who was also, I believe, a civil engineer um, in the UK who helped um, with kind of lighting up different parts of the city and different different parts of this of cities and the uk overall uh thank you so much